good. See you again. I met you for a ride along to oh, Miami. Is that right? Oh, and, yeah. What are we doing here? <laughs> I know. <laughs> back to Miami. Yeah. I know. Parking lot after school. Okay, so this guy has a lot of anger yes. issues. Yes. Are you anything like that, or what do you do when you get angry? Uh, no, I'm I'm, I'm pretty chill guy. You know, when I get angry, you know, uh, can't nobody get madder than me. So uh, that's how I feel. <laughs> so you don't meditate or go for a run or have anything like you do to deal with those kind of emotions yourself? Nah, no, nah, I can deal with uh, anger pretty good. You know, I, I learn how to deal with it and just figure out a time to let it go. So what were you like in high school? I was a cool student. You know, I was I was into school most of the time. Um, but I was a student who was also looking to leave and get out and, and what was my future gonna be like. And I was really knee deep into music, so School kind of was in the way when I was in high school. So you were pretty determined very early on? Yeah, I wanted to do music full time. And, but, you know, I saw the value in school. You know, I, I like school, to be, to be honest, because you get a chance to learn a lot of different stuff that you didn't know, so. And you were nice to the teachers? Uh, I, was, I was okay. <laughs> I was okay. I wasn't too much trouble. I wasn't never in my seat. I was that kind of guy who wasn't never in his seat. I was, Mr. Jackson, could you sit down? Mr. Jackson, sit down, because I'm roaming all over the class. Were you pranking, or you are It's talking, it's being nosy, getting work from other students. So I feel today is a different story when people are growing up uh, in high schools and they have social media and all these kind of things and bullying and cyberbullying and how can we or how do you teach your kids about you know how to deal with with those kind of things that they have to deal with too. I think first thing you have to do is speak up. Uh, if somebody's bullying you, you have to tell somebody. You know you can't go go at that alone. You shouldn't. Um, as far as like, social media and kids, um, you have to teach them that other people's opinion is not important as the people you love. You know, what a person who's not a loved one thinks of you is just not as important as what your loved ones think. And you just keep instilling that into your kids and hopefully they build up a, a shell that social media can't penetrate and um, that's really what it's all about is self-esteem I think you have to really teach high self-esteem nowadays that's difficult that's one of the most difficult things to teach someone to actually get high self-esteem do you remember do you, would you did you always believe in yourself or did you have doubts um, of course you know as a youth you have a lot of doubts but I you know I was taught at an early age to believe in the talents that God has given you and believe in yourself. Um, and and I started to use that to, to be able to try to navigate through this career or even get through school. Um, I started to get more into arts and into things that I knew creatively that I was you know strong at. I started to really focus on the things I knew I was strong at and um, it's helped me. Is there anything you can't do? I feel like you're... There's a lot I can't do, you know. Uh, by doing music at a young age, you really miss out on a lot of other stuff. You know, I wish I could... Uh, I wish I was better with cars and, and you know, uh, construction and things that I probably missed out on. Construction and cars. So that's the next thing for you. Yeah, man, ain't nothing like being a nice handyman, you know. Every man should, should know how to fix things around the house. Yes, let's get that out there. Yeah, they should, <laughs> yeah. It's Thank terrible, so all right. Hi there, thanks for watching my interview. I hope you liked it, and if you did, there might be some other interviews you like on my channel. So please subscribe by clicking this button down here, and hopefully I'll see you again. Thanks again for watching. Bye.